asked for a guitar for my birthday when I was 15. And uh, my parents just got me a cheap guitar, you know. I mean, that's all right, you know. But the, the strings were like an inch off of the fretboard at the octave. I mean, they were really, it was really hard to play. And I felt it, and I played that guitar for years. And I kind of felt as though learning how to play the guitar like that was a very good experience because I had to like squeeze the music out of the thing. I came up as a young, young man in the 60s when there was such an explosion of fantastic music in the, in the 60s that uh, I couldn't help but get into it. I mean, I was listening to people like uh, Penderewski and Ligeti. I was even listening to Mahler. I loved Mahler and Bruckner, and, uh, as well as music of all kinds. I mean, I was listening to Gaga Ku music from Japan. It's the oldest orchestra in the world. It's like 2,000 years old, and the music is still some of the strangest music you will ever, ever hear. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's amazing. If I could capture that type of sound, I'd, I'd be very happy. Every piece is different. That's what's interesting to me, to hear something I haven't heard before. That's what I want to hear, something I don't know what it's going to sound like. So I felt that I could use a, a tuning system that only had two notes in it and use the creative power of my mind to do something interesting with that. The subconscious is a very important part uh, of, of my work. I don't believe in this concept uh, of objectivity. I hate it. This idea that we all should think the same way about things as the rest of us. That's bullshit. We all see things in our own way. And that's a subjective idea. And, and so I was interested in opening the music up into ambiguity and even confusion so that the conscious mind, the one that's been ingrained in us since we were children, you know, uh, would be broken open and allow us to have more access to our subconscious because we're searching for exactly what is this that we're listening to. It's some, one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people don't understand my music or don't like my music, to put it very simply. I, uh, I don't lead them along down a path to an obvious conclusion. I let the audience decide what the conclusion is going to be. I wanted people to understand that the music itself can be interesting enough to, uh, in such a way that it doesn't need to have any visuals, it doesn't need to have any film, it doesn't need to have any dancers, it doesn't need, you know. I wanted the, the music to, to be strong enough to absorb, you know, for the audience to absorb it. I want people to be inspired, to go out and do what they want to do, not what the culture wants them to do.